Hi, this is Peter from the DJ Podcast. In this video, we're going to continue talking about advanced mini mapping in Native Instrument Tractor Pro 2 by looking at how to map LEDs using the MIDI out commands to your MIDI controller. One of the great things about MIDI mapping in Tractor Pro 2 is that you can have control over how the LEDs on your controller react to what's going on in the software. One thing I want to point out is that in the controller manager tab, you want to make sure that you have the correct device selected and then you want to click on Outport and then select the particular controller that you're using. So I'll select Machine Controller. You want to make sure that your Outport is set correctly so that way your MIDI controller can receive the MIDI out messages. So let's go ahead and look at an example of how the MIDI out commands work. So what we're going to do is instead of clicking on Add In like you normally would when you're mapping a control to your MIDI controller, this time we're going to go to Add Out. Now you'll see that there are a lot of the same options that are available in this drop down menu and that's because a lot of them are similar to the MIDI controls that you would normally map. So we're going to go then to Deck Common and this time we're going to select Play Pause. So just like we would when we are going to map a Play Pause button on our MIDI controller, we're going to go and click on Learn, then we're going to press a button on our MIDI controller, see that it pops up there and then we can press Learn again. Below in the mapping details, you'll see that the type of controller is LED and that the interaction mode is output. Then we can go ahead and make sure that we simply assign that to deck A. You will notice that if you click on interaction mode, there is only one selection, the same for type of controller, unlike when you're mapping MIDI ins and you can have multiple control types. So when we select that we want to have a MIDI out for something like play pause, we are actually telling Tractor to react to whatever is going on in the software. When we're mapping a MIDI out command for something like play pause, what we're essentially doing is telling Tractor to look at deck A. If deck A is playing, we are going to send out a MIDI signal that tells the LED to light up. If it's not, it's going to simply remain unlit. For example, when I go ahead and press play on deck A, you'll see that the button lights up. Then when I press play again to stop the track, you'll see that the LED for that button turns off. So now let's take a look at some of the options that you have while actually mapping the LEDs. The first of them is controller range. The controller range affects when the LED will light up. With a command like play and pause, there will only be two options, 0 and 1, with the 0 being off and 1 being on. For certain commands, you will actually have more than two options for the controller range. With something like the master output levels, you can actually use multiple of the same MIDI output commands, but with different controller ranges, to output the entire master output levels onto the different pads of the machine controller. Low controller range is MIDI range, and this has to do with how the LED interacts with the software. So for the most basic example with this play pause, when it's at zero, the light is off, and when it's above zero, or basically one to 127, the light would be on. For the machine controller, that means that it's actually at a lower intensity brightness, but of course, if I play it, you'll see that it lights up. So even when it is technically off, you'll still see some light from the LED. Some LEDs in controllers may adjust for brightness. So for example, if you had a range from 0 to 64 and then 64 to 127 you would see that it would be at different levels of brightness depending on the MIDI out command that you're sending. For controllers with multiple LEDs under each button, the numbers in the range will be assigned to the different LED colors or behaviors. For example, if you had a red, green, and blue LED under each button, the different ranges would correspond to which color LED is lit. This will obviously depend on the particular controller that you're using, and sometimes it will only just be for on and off. Next to controller range, we have invert, and this is very much like inverting a MIDI in command. So for example, right now, our LED is off because our deck A doesn't have a track playing in it. But if we were to invert that, you would see that the button lights up, and then when we go to play the track, you'll see that it turns off. So that's what the invert does, pretty self-explanatory. The last option we have is Blend. This is useful when you have an illuminated knob or fader that you want to increase or decrease in brightness as you adjust the control. This can also be used for different types of LEDs that have different brightness levels. 
So instead of going simply from one brightness to another, it'll kind of blend in between for a smooth transition between them. For a very simple on-off button, you can usually leave this off. It just depends on the particular type of control that you're using. So that is a basic overview of using the MIDI out commands in Traktor Pro 2 to map LEDs on your MIDI controller. If you liked this video and our previous videos on advanced MIDI mapping in Traktor Pro 2, leave a comment and let us know what type of future videos you would like to see based around this. Don't forget that you can always subscribe to get notified when our new videos come out at youtube.com slash the DJ podcast or at our newly redesigned website at the DJ podcast.com. Thanks for watching.